I'm going to share with you this reflection starting with this reading uh, this reflection will be about heaven and this reading is from Revelations 4 1 the throne in heaven after this I look up to the wall of the sky and saw an open door the voice which I had first heard speaking to me like a trumpet said come up here and I will show you what will come in the future immediately I saw I was sized by the Spirit there in heaven was a throne and one sitting on it he who sat there looked like uh, Jasper and Carmelian and round the throne was a rainbow resembling an emerald in a circle around the throne are 24 thrones and seated on these are 24 elders dressed in white cloths with golden crowns on their heads flashes of lightning come forth from the throne with voices and thunderclaps seven flaming torches burn before the throne these are the seven spirits of God before the throne there is a platform transparent like crystal around and beside the throne stand four living creatures full of eyes both in front and behind the first living creature is like a lion the second like a bull the third has the face of a man and the fourth looks like a flying eagle each of the four living creatures has six wings full of eyes all around as well as within day and night they sing without ceasing holy 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 is the lord god master of the universe he was he is and he is to come whenever the living creatures give glory honor and thanks to the one on the throne he who lives forever and ever the 24 elders fall down before him and worship the one who lives forever and ever they lay their crowns in front of the throne and say our lord and god worthy are you to receive glory honor and power for you have created all things by your will they came to be and were made this is extraordinary and uh, as catholics we have read this passage many times and we always always uh, feel this mystery in our hearts and know that this is something that has been promised to us by Jesus uh, we profess our Christianity we believe in the promises of Jesus and among the promises of Jesus the most important one is we are going to be in heaven one day if we obey him if we walk with him and, and live according to his law according to his commandments and according to the gospel he taught us it's a promise and the question is yes we have a view of heaven based on what Saint John was revealed to um, but do we have an idea of how heaven could be as far as we can imagine it um, I can give you some ideas based on my mystical experience I had not a vision of heaven exactly but I had a vision of the city of light the Jerusalem of heaven uh, which is considered paradise and is the holy city that Saint John sees landing at the end before the the, the last judgment <clears throat> before the returning of Jesus and while Jesus is returning actually and uh, it's a city and it's described in these marvelous ways um, and 
and we could say that this is a fact in my particular case I had after my illumination of conscience I had a vision of the city of light on top of a hill of a very not a hill a mountain and uh, I, though it was far away from where I was I could see there and I could see that was my destination and I could see I didn't make it there and there was no connection from the mountain I found myself to the, the mountain where that city was and, and uh, I knew that was the city of Jerusalem the Jerusalem of heaven and uh, so it is a fact that this is real I mean we are we have been told that and it's not easy for us to imagine it uh, that is possible because we live in an imperfect world uh, where there is evil and uh, where there is uh, darkness you know there is uh, a lot of uh, contradictions to perfection and holiness and, and those factors uh, you know clouds our imagination because we cannot see through this imperfection and this evil in the world we cannot see that it's possible to have a perfect life a, a, a perfect state of glory of permanent glory permanent uh, ecstasies we it's hard for us to conceive that uh, but it is true and as Christians we should know this we should live up to this we should focus on that we should place our eyes in that horizon the horizon of heaven that should be our horizon that should be the view we have in front of us we should make an effort to to have that present because you know life is like navigating towards our port our port of salvation and uh, that's what life is through murky waters and sometimes the waters are calm but then these storms show up like now like the times we are going through now and but when we have a clear horizon of our destination then life changes and is different because we have hope and we know that what we are longing for is the promises of Jesus and the promise of Jesus is that we are going to be with him one day at the end of this life if we walk with him in obedience to what he taught us to what he revealed to us in obedience to his law and all of that amounts to a holy life a life of goodness a life where we strive every day every time to become better people better persons and this is what we are doing this is what we are dealing with as Christians so don't let the times we are going through right now cloud you know uh, your, your imagination don't let these uh, events of temporary life get you foggy you know your, your eyes should be clear because we have a marvelous God, a wonderful, merciful God that loves us and created us to save us. And so, regardless of how difficult things can turn to be, like now, we should be hopeful and we should have our eyes placed in that city of Jerusalem. It is our destination and it's real. It's real, it's absolutely real. We have to. Uh, understand that and, and let our whole being be completely permeated by that reality because that changes us it absolutely changes our demeanor because we can get really uh, confused by this uh, world and, and the events of this world changeable uh, events uh, so, so unexpected events we should be free from all, all of this by focusing on the real destination the, by focusing on on eternal life but life in heaven that is so important